never before seen two of the world's largest engine nitro monster trucks you're looking at two giant monster trucks but they are not just purple monster trucks these possess something only one truck possesses and that is the world's largest nitro engine ever to be put in a nitro monster truck these are the thunder tiger ek4s and they come factory equipped with the 0.70 size engine Never before seen two of the world's largest engine nitro monster trucks side by side. Now this is a special treat. It is not every day you get to see something like this. Each engine is 0.70 cubic inches in size. That equates to 11 cc's. That means if you add up 11 times 2 or rather multiply you get 22 cc's. That is almost the size of the very first 23 cc gas powered HPI Baja. But in a nitro, that makes, that makes it a little more exciting. Now, first thing I want you guys to understand, these are both very, very great condition trucks, but they are also both very different. The one on the left is the ultimate highest modified model I think I have ever seen. This one has the super rare aluminum rims, an upgraded MSJ red anodized aluminum option package, unique shock setup a giant aftermarket cooling head sticking out the rear and the one next to it is 100 percent factory original thunder tiger ek4 now before we take the bodies off i do want to point out an obvious fact these look like ford f-350 bodies don't they i think they do i think they do during this time period the Ford F-150, 250, 350, they were a very popular series of truck. Now, of course, there were people that preferred the Chevy Silverado. And to that I say, Thunder Tiger did not prefer the Chevy Silverado. Side by side, they are very impressive. This is literally the pinnacle of vintage Nitro Monster trucks. Nothing like this has ever been made before. Now, in terms of comparisons to other giant engine trucks there were a couple others if you're looking to go big in terms of engine size you should be looking for the sen genesis gst with a 7.7 .7 engine or the thunder tigers twin brother the team associated monster mgt 8.0 although the 8.0 was only a 0 0.50 size engine now i know in my right hand i am about to have the piston from this truck holy moly that is that is massive i dare you guys to go home take the piston and sleeve out of your car put it in your hand and see how many of your fingers it goes across just so you understand how giant a 0.70 size engine is i have sourced a regular piston from the already giant xtm 24.7 engine this is basically a 0.25 size so all the way on the left is the 0.25 this is the piston from the Thunder Tiger. Notice on top, there's a ring. So these are known as ringed pistons. Very similar to real car pistons and helicopter style pistons. Now some helicopters and cars have dual rings. This is just a single ring. I think this one has fallen out. But side by side, you can really get a good understanding of the immense size factor. Check out the sleeve. It's a wedding band. Yeah, could wear it as a wedding band. About to marry a Thunder Tiger over here. Damn. Can you do that in the state? Sure. I think people marry like weird things all the time, right? It's the only state where there's Sickening. multiple genders. Oh yeah, multiple gender state. All right, let's do it. Sign me up. You're going to be the witness. You guys want to see what it actually looks like under the awesome shell, don't you? I know I do. Let's take the body off. 
of this very first original one so we can have a good understanding of what it should look like directly from the factory and yes the first most obvious thing you see is the giant cooling head now this is like a fist over here okay i dare you to do that to your traxxas 3.3 take your fist and put it next to your cooling head we will understand what you're dealing with now from the top down view i'm going to give you my fair you know unbiased review it is very similar to like a regular buggy which makes sense because thunder tiger during this time period they were very popular for the thunder tiger eb4 a uh, world race championship winning buggy design now the difference here is you have a very unique suspension system with what appears to be a inboard style shock over there if i can remove the bumper a little bit you can take a look I'm not sure what it does i think it acts as a um a kind of a sway bar setup now the star of the show of course is this engine pro 70 bx now these use a shaft to start them in the back kind of a six millimeter shaft of the same as the mgt 8.0 in the front you do have a fairly beefy aluminum shock tower it does appear to be pretty good quality i wouldn't say uh like a soft type of aluminum like the chinese pot aluminum we do have super beefy steering knuckles now notice the wheels in the front here they have a massive offset the tires themselves they appear to be pneumatic tires meaning there is no foam on the inside these have been polished preserved they look fantastic the original kind of uh tractor tread chevron design i like it what is the suspension like you might want to ask well this one it feels a little bit under dampened probably going to uh, put a little bit of a thicker shock oil other than that it's pretty beefy we do have cvds in the front thick drive shafts now going towards the middle we see a giant metal spur gear right there i like that no center diff this is the center diff free zone other than that the layout it's really not much different from a buggy we have the electronics mounted here on the side we have mud guards sometimes they're called uh, chassis guards in the rear we do have dual shock setup i do notice the rear shocks are an offset kind of alignment maybe they were going for different spring rates because that is what you would actually achieve so as you compress the suspension you could see the shock in the front that is mounted a little differently has a different compression rate when compared to the shock in the rear pretty nice this one has a nice new air filter in terms of drivetrain it's super super beefy servos we have a high tech and we have a jr servo let's take a look at the side setup because well this is probably the largest and thickest header anybody has ever seen on a nitro truck before very thick the pipe i would say it's a little undersized but then again these engines really don't make that much uh, rpm they are ringed and they are helicopter engines which means rpm is really not what you're going to be going after here it is uh, a lot of torque i remember when i was a kid first getting into the hobby before getting my first ever rc magazine i saw somebody running these in the park and the guy put like a tank of nitro in it ran it down the field before he came back he was missing half a tank of nitro look at how funny that glow plug looks on the inside it's so small even though that's just a regular glow plug what about the bottom of the chassis let's check it out it's probably going to look just like a regular buggy and yes it looks just like a regular buggy with fairly short buggy suspension arms but guys just because we're calling it a buggy doesn't make it bad you know not everything has to be a um completely new design sometimes you just build on what you had and you stick a giant engine into it now this one looks like zero rollovers very nice in terms of plastics on the truck the rear super flexible nice bumper i like it shock tower has slightly more rigid plastic so they use plastics exactly how they meant to be used stiff where you need and soft where you don't well what about the top of the line modified thunder tiger ek4 well here it is a ton of beautiful red aluminum on this model features an upgraded front suspension setup 
Yeah, this one feels a little stiffer, but this one also weighs a little more. Now take a look at these wheels. Completely machined aluminum wheels. I don't even know how much this would have cost brand new, but probably the price of a Hyundai. Okay, nice. So you can polish these with like metal polish. Wow, look at that red anodized aluminum center wheel nut, beautiful. Uh, these wheels, not sure what the brand is, but probably I'm going to go with IMEX. You almost always saw ads for IMEX wheels during this time period. Let's go over the heavily modified one. This one has a very vintage state-of-the-art electronics. You're looking at, I think this is the Venom low voltage alarm. Because I'm quite sure that this is the dynamite race guard, which is the failsafe. Back then you would have most likely ran regular FM radios. This is pre 2.4 gigahertz. And failsafes were often plugged in to a uh, throttle channel, kind of like with a splitter. And you would have had to program it. Either way, what about all of that red aluminum, you want to know? This appears to be a complete kit by MSJ for this brand. I see... Literally everything has been modified, upgraded, and made nicer, stronger, and beefier. Now, I know there was a model that was also sold as uh, kind of an upgrade kit. It really wasn't a model, but it was the unlimited model chassis upgrade kit. I think it also had red aluminum. I'm not sure if this is kind of what it's supposed to be, but we have this. It's old. There's really not much information on it. Check out the giant rear wheelie bar on this this is this is epic and they think the x max has a big wheelie bar give me a break everybody now this is an optional giant tall cooling head compared to the one over there in the distance versus the original one yes this one is i would say about a half of an inch taller but it is about three times more expensive looking look at how funny the glow plug looks on the inside that that is just well i'm gonna have to say it truly sickening same spur gear setup same disc brake setup on this one we also have very good high-tech servos this would have been like the state-of-the-art servo regular basic buggy fuel tank because like i said this was based on the regular eb4 buggy notice that giant flywheel never seen a giant flywheel like this actually ever it seems to be about twice the size the other one interesting choice the high speed needle is just it appears to be a two millimeter uh screw not like a regular flathead style screw i've actually seen that before it is not that rare for vintage nitros i have seen it previously now in terms of horsepower i'm not 100 totally sure how much this truck has but i will tell you it has enough to wheelie the couple of reviews i read on these trucks they said that they wheelied at will basically they really easier than the government tries to raise your taxes, everybody. So how do you start one of these, right? Well, you have to have a lot of nitro fuel because these 0.70 size engines, well, they are thirsty. The second thing you got to have is a starting shaft. Luckily, you can get yourself a drill, stick the shaft in there, spin it over, and you are burning nitro in no time. Pretty epic build, I think, since the release of these trucks. There really hasn't been anything with this size of an engine. And in fact, only the Sen Genesis GST ever came close with a 7.7 .7 displacement engine. This is 11cc. It's actually not even close. That was a joke about Sen. This thing is the nitro engine displacement killer. Well, guys, that's about it. This was just a uh, fairly quick overview, review, and show on the most incredible giant engine nitro monster truck ever made the thunder tiger ek4 now you will see more of these there are plans to take this to the park put a tank of nitro in it and then come back with half a tank of nitro if you know what i'm talking about well guys please give this video a like a comment make sure you're a subscriber and in the future we will be getting more epic incredible nitros and make sure to never run too lean because you don't want to kill your nitro engine do you today i'm telling you guys some important news nitro will never die that's right i'm gonna die if i don't shave my balls that's right this video was sponsored by manscape get these new trimmers for your balls on a real note though 
I really am gonna die. Nitro World Order. Nitro World Order.